Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of OK Zoomer. I'm your host, Aaron Lichtig, Zometry Guy and former Jeopardy champion. And I'm here today with Ethan Kurtz. Really excited to have Ethan on the show today. He is a college student and he is the captain of the Riptide BattleBots team. Um, and just to let everybody know, Zometry is a proud official sponsor of the Riptide BattleBots team. Um, and we're, we're so excited to have Ethan here today and so excited to be a part of the team's journey. Welcome, Ethan. Hi, Aaron. Thanks so much for having me. Awesome. And I hear you have some news that we can break on <laughs> OK Zoomer today. So this is, um, this is actually really, really interesting. So Riptide has recently been accepted onto BattleBots, and we've been working really, really hard to um, build our robot for season six of BattleBots um, on Discovery Channel. And we're super, super stoked to just announce that we are going to be there for sure. And we're going to be fighting and we're going to do a great job and we're going to fight well. We're going to gun for the nut and uh, do the best we can. So um, as you can see, we kind of actually have uh, Riptide back here. Um, this is actually the robot that we have so far. And it's very um, weapon focused, drum spinner focused. So we have our... Mm -hmm drum spinner here um, and this is 50 pounds of 4140 hardened steel um, and basically um, we use this uh, configuration we chose this configuration basically so we could take off people's um, long forks and stuff to kind of keep people from sc scooping up our robot and the other reason is so we can take on horizontals and, uh, and basically just have a long flat piece here that we can hit a horizontal blade with without much worry. So it's meant to counter robots like Tombstone and other kind of horizontal spinners like that. Um, I'm going to work my way back here, um, but it's also, this has also a four wheel drive uh, vertical spinner. So we also kind of got that going for us. Um, uh, the drive is built to basically, basically be really redundant and um, unkillable. Uh, it's a four motor drive. Uh, each wheel is driven by a single motor and that's basically riptide. We're also going to have lifters um, to help control the fight and for self-riding as well. Um, this robot was actually, um, what's really, really, really interesting about this robot is this robot's built mostly uh, by zometry. So uh, the coolest part of my the robot, in my opinion, is the, this really awesome 50 pound uh, drum spinner weapon bar. Yeah, uh, that's a huge part. Yeah, it's a huge part. And it was really, really well priced on Zometry. We got three of these for about four thousand dollars, and everywhere else we looked, it was nine, ten thousand um, dollars. So we used Zometry's international economy option uh, to get really, really good pricing on this. We ordered three. Uh, we took them to the states um, and got them hardened, and that was basically the whole process. Um, but we're just absolutely in love with this part. It feels it. It was obviously made by professional. It was super high quality. Um, we we were told by every other team, uh, do not choose the international option. You're likely going to get a part from China that's a different type of steel than 4140. Um, some sort of mild steel that might be less quality, but they were wrong. Uh, it's 4140. Uh, we got that tested at the hardening shop. Um, we were not cheaped out and we got a really good price. So we're super, super, super happy about this uh, drum spinner. Um, the rest of the robot is also made with zometry. So we also have these inner panels, um, these billet um, inner panels. We also have our weapon shafts, our titanium weapon shafts, uh, which were are 45 millimeters in diameter. Um, needed to be super, super precise so the bearings wouldn't lock. Um, on the robot. And we have a bunch of really interesting parts and small parts and big parts. And the wheels were made with zometry and everything was made with zometry basically, um, except for a few parts. And that's basically our robot. And it's really thanks to you guys that we've really been able to get things done so quick because we're able to do it in one place all at once. And like, we don't actually have machines because we're not, you know, I'm just a college student, I'm broke. Um, so, <laughs> It's really nice that we don't have to pay for like a $20,000 Torma. Um, we could just order from Zometry and just get things done like that um, cheaply and quickly and fast. So that's, 
been our process. So ever since we got accepted um, a few weeks back. So uh, thanks, Zometry. And this is also really cool and really thankful. So we have gotten into BattleBots. You're going to see us August 20th. Uh, we're going to go and fight in Vegas uh, for season six. And it's all thanks to Zometry. And um, our, so far, so good. <laughs> awesome. So, you know, how it's pretty unusual for somebody who's who's just twenty to to be picked by BattleBots and be leading a team in the competition. How did that all happen? How did you get into BattleBots? So, okay, getting into BattleBots is a really, really um, hard process. Um, so, it, and it's really, really interesting process. So, BattleBots likes to not take risks. First of all, let's start there. BattleBots is a their production company. They don't want to take someone that they know is probably going to fail, right? So you have to really prove that you are um, that you are capable and that you're intelligent and that you're going to be good for TV. So we had to figure out um, the first thing was are you, are you capable? Um, and no one really thought we were going to be capable. We haven't really done a lot of combat, um, and I'm also 20. Most of these guys are like they've been in the job for, you know, as an, a professional engineer for like you know, 30 years. A lot of these guys are in their, their 40s and 30s. Um, some, a lot of them are older than that. You tend not to see guys that are really younger like I am. Um, sorry, sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> uh, so that being said, um, what we had to do is we had to make up for that in our design. Um, we had to have really elaborate CAD and we had to have a, a really elaborate plan for how we were going to do this. We had to show them there is no scenario where we fail uh, because we know we're a risk because we're untested. So we have to show you that we are actually not a risk um, and that we know what we're doing. So what we did is we actually figured out, um, we did a lot of research on who would be the best um, what would be the best course of action to make this robot as fast as possible, as cheaply as possible, as effective as possible. And um, we came down onto these online kind of manufacturing companies um, and we saw um, that that would be the cheapest, best way to um, do this. And then after that, we were going, who is the cheapest, best, fastest uh, manufacturing, online manufacturing company out there? And that's how we landed with Zometry. Zometry is their international, their normal option and their expedite option. So that really, it made sense to do, and they had their fusion discount, which really sold us. So the fact that um, there's a 10% fusion discount um, really, really sold, sold us in the fact that, oh wait, um, although some of these prices are really kind of similar and from different places, now it's not similar. Zometry is always going to be the better choice. Yeah, and what, what you're referring to is, is Zometry's Autodesk Fusion 360 yeah. add-in where you can get quotes and, and order within the, the Autodesk Fusion 360 environment. Yeah, that's exactly it. So we decided, okay, this is definitely the best option. This is the cheapest option, this is the fastest option. Uh, let's, let's, get a, let's work around that. And then we created a three month plan and everything and made a video explaining what we do uh, and the sponsors that we get. Um, and then we kind of, and after that, they uh, they accepted us. We were like one of the last teams to get accepted. We barely made it in there after all that preparation. So we needed we needed every variable to work, work for us. Um, there was no room for error because we're not an established team. We're not like, oh, you built this robot, therefore we'll let you in because you built a robot already. We didn't build a robot. We had, and season six after season five, Season five was BattleBot's best year ever. Um, so everyone trying to get in, it's like, was kind of trying to capitalize on that success. Uh, so, which made the competition tougher. There was about 300 teams applying and only 60 make it. And all these guys are engineers. So you have to, you have to show why, why are you better? Why are you less of a risk? And Zometry is the least riskiest way to make all your parts because, um, they always hit their deadlines. Every part we've gotten and every part we've seen gotten has always arrived two, three days earlier um, or on time. Um, we got a few parts late, but that's customs fault. <laughs> so um, 
it was pretty obvious that this was the best option and that this is the option that we had to do in order to be successful. Um, we needed fast options and we don't have a network of machinists that we could just call up. Um, we needed someone with a network um, to make our parts. Um, we couldn't just rely on one guy. So that's why we, went, we chose this path with Zometry and Fusion. Um, so, so you may, you're, you're unique here, right? They, they're taking a chance on you. Zometry is taking a chance on you. What makes Riptide so special? Why, why do you have, uh, even though you're less experienced, even though it's your first time in the field, what gives you the, the chance to ultimately win the competition? So I, our weapon is the, I've said this multiple times, but uh, our weapon is the coolest part of the robot, and it's probably the best weapon in the competition. Um, so recently, we've been testing it, and we've seen that this thing spins at above 180 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. um, so we're getting really, we have a huge brushless motor setup um, with tons of power. We draw 600 amps when we uh, um, draw, when we start up the weapon, uh, which is more than most teams pull. And that's a good thing because we're putting a lot of energy into our startup. So we have a high acceleration on weapon and we have a high inertia just because our weapon is really, really, um, our weapon is really, has a really big diameter. Um, and all of this steel is on the farthest edge possible, generating the most moment of inertia along with these really insane speeds. Um, so, one thing, what makes us special is we hit really hard. Uh, we also have our drive system, which is um, independently driven by each motor. Uh, so that also makes us special. We're just super reliable in that fact. Um, and there's just a number of things like that. We also have an insane work ethic. All of us are doing this full time. Um, one advantage of being a 20 year old uh, is you could do these things full time. Um, you, ha you have nothing better to do. So uh, we're able to do this full time. Um, and just put way more time into to things that um, experienced teams uh, don't because they just don't have the time that we do. So time is on our side um, and we're taking advantage of it as much as we can. So a number of those things uh, combined with the fact that we're really good planners and we're really good strategists and we spend time just detailing everyone else and what they're doing and uh, generating counters to what they do as well. Um, we're we're going to do our best and we probably will uh, figure out counters to every uh, every team we fight um, and do our best to win the championship on our first try. Uh, that's just the type of people we are and most people don't have the confidence to try to do it like that. Um, so that's what really makes it special is the fact that um, we plan well, um, we build really nice robots, our build quality is awesome, we build quickly and fast and we're motivated really full time. So that's what sets us apart. Yeah, so you mentioned your energy and your hard work, and that definitely does make you stand out. What are some of the things that you're doing to stay healthy and to, to maintain that energy? Uh, so things I do to maintain this energy, um, it's, it's hard to stay motivated during quarantine. Quarantine is definitely one of the hardest times to stay motivated, especially when you're just working from home and you'll only see things on CAD. Mm -hmm. uh, work, working out every morning, uh, tends to help with energy. Um, seeing the robot come into fruition also really helps stay motivated. But seeing this, we saw this on a computer for a year, and that's only so motivating because it's just on your laptop. But you know, seeing this in person and spin, spinning this up, um, spinning this up somewhere, um, and doing all this testing and seeing everything kind of come together, uh, you know definitely helps you mentally um, when you've been working at this like a maniac for a year. Uh, you want to like just um, just seeing everything come together is really, really helped. Um, working out every day helps with just keeping the, the head clear um, and just eating healthy um, because you're kind of, you're not in this for like the short haul. So uh, we're not drinking caffeine down like by the leader every single day. Um, we're just doing everything we can to just be sustainable. Uh, we're moving slowly and methodically um, while keeping everything detailed, but we're also trying to move as methodically as we can and as fast as we can. So we're trying to do everything right um, and minimize mistakes just through um, 
using Fusion 360, which allows us to iterate and stuff, and then uh, transition directly to zometry. So we're just eliminating a, a lot of variables. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's just another a number of things leading kind of back to health um, that just keep, helps keep this team healthy and everyone healthy. Um, that we're just minimizing variables and we're just moving slow and we're moving healthily um, and doing everything we can to stay safe. Awesome. Well, Ethan, thank you so much for joining us today. And Zometry is honored to, to work with you and, and be a part of this journey. And we wish you and the team nothing but the, the best of luck and the best of earned, earned success and, and hope your hard work really pays out at the end of August when you finally get to take this, this beautiful machine right here into battle. All right. Thank you so much for having me, Aaron. Really, really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. And All thanks right. for supporting us. Thank you, Ethan. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, come back again in another couple of days for another episode of OK Zoomer. Stay safe, stay healthy, everybody. Bye.